uh, challenging corporations such as Shell is really a good thing for indigenous communities and indigenous women because it gives them hope that um, they can take these big corporations um, accountable for its um, contribution to climate change. It's a matter of breaking impunity of corporations like Shell. Indigenous women are already suffering um, a lot of issues um, in terms of the lack of access to land, access to livelihood, and um, other basic services as they are located in geographically isolated areas. Para mí es muy importante el caso de Shell eh, porque eso otras empresas se van a cuidar sobre su accionar en nuestros territorios, en nuestros países. Honduras es uno de los países más vulnerables al cambio climático. Mi pueblo está ubicado en la costa atlántica y hemos visto cómo ha afectado el cambio climático por la sedimentación del mar que se ha acercado y se ha metido el mar en las comunidades mucho más y es muy clarito como inclusive algunas casas se han desaparecido. O sea. A case like this is one way of proving and exposing the corporate impunity of such companies. In the last 50 years, we have evidenced and seen how climate change has multiplied its effects. One, ranging from high drought spells, going to uh, sea level rises, going to longer droughts and flooding, and all that is an emergency. And we are seeing it hitting harder and faster as unanticipated. Our country have more than 70,000 threatened islands by climate change. Rising temperature is mean rising flood frequency. It mean we are losing our house, reducing our harvesting season, and depleting our food stock. We are worried the situation is getting worse. So reducing climate change is emergency. Reducing Fossil fuel is needed, Mother Earth need healing, healing for our air, our river right now.